Hey everyone, so I'm back with a tutorial. I have not done a proper glam makeup tutorial for quite some time and I am feeling myself right now. I love this look. It's a very autumnal with oranges and reds and a bit of brown as well in there and I'm just loving this metallic lip. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted either dark reds or burgundy makeup tutorial last night. Over 80% of you voted for dark red, so that's what I brought you. So enough chat because this is a chatty get ready of me and I have blabbered on for some time, so let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna go in with this Daily Moisturizer. I'm really loving this one at the moment. I find that if I'm wearing no makeup, it doesn't make my skin look greasy and it just sinks straight into the skin. So it's really quick to then go in with makeup. So recently I switched primer. I was using my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer for ages. I really love that primer. But I thought I'd try this. It's a little bit cheaper, obviously, being Ramel. And I ran out and it was just the first one that I grabbed in boots. But I'm actually really liking it at the moment and I do find that my makeup goes on so much better. It's good for daily use. And it's really sticky, which obviously we want with a primer. I find that some primers are too oily and I just don't like that sort of texture on my skin. I just find that my foundation doesn't always set properly. So I'm going to go in with a full coverage foundation. I like using this one. I just feel like today doing like full glam. So I'm going to go in with this infallible total coverage foundation and I'm going to use in my blended bud with it. Now straight away you may notice that I haven't got my pretty pink and white swirly blending bud. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, if you're eating, skip this. <laughs> Basically, when I was at my mum's, I had to throw it away because my mum's cat nicely left a present for me down the side of my bed and I dropped my blend bread. I didn't even smell it. Like, since having my son, my scent of smell has gone pretty downhill, to be fair. I didn't even smell it, but I dropped my blending bud doing my makeup at the window and then... Uh, found it nicely sat in that present that my mum's cat had left me. No way in hell was I going to wash that and be putting that on my face again. So it went in my bit. <laughs> I was pretty upset because I haven't had it that long. And obviously, beauty blenders aren't cheap. <laughs> but oh well. So this is my mum's. I haven't gone and got one yet. But my mum doesn't use it. She gave it to me. <laughs> God, I haven't used this foundation in so long. I like to use the infallible matte one for daily use on my Clinique. So this is a new concealer that I've been using. I know it's not new at all in the slightest, like majority of people do have this concealer. I wanted to try it for a long time, but I was, I just love the concealer that I use. I've used that concealer for years and it was just one that I know works. I tried the NYX one, I didn't get on with it. So I finally got this when I went and did a little daily makeup bag haul and I love it. I'm so obsessed. It's the Radiance Brightening one. I couldn't get the light concealer one because it was actually too dark for my skin. As you can see, I'm like a ghost. Um, so I got the Radiance and it's perfect. It matches my skin tone, but it also brightens. So some days, if I don't want to do full foundation for the school one or whatever, I do just shove that concealer all over my face and blend it out. And it works just as good for a light coverage. But I have to say, I am loving this concealer. I don't think I'm going to go back to my old one at all. <laughs> Oh, as well, please excuse my nails. I did have nice khaki ones on. Um, 
I did film it, so if you haven't seen that, go onto my page, it was the video before this one. I did do some nice khaki nails, but I was doing the food shop and they were just like pinging off around Tesco's. And I just realised that I didn't put nails on before filming. So, is it to use the nails? Okay, so why my foundation isn't set yet, because I haven't gone in powder, I'm going to go in with this Barium Liquid Chrome Highlighter. This is the Precious Pearls one. I really love these highlighters. They are so cool. And they're just so pigmented. I'm just going to go and dab where the highlight. It just makes your skin look so much more radiant. Some days I do mix it in with just all my foundation, but today I'm just going to do like straight down. Now I've done all my base, I'm going to go in and set my makeup. So I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel Match Translucent Powder. Couldn't get the words out then. So just go under my eyes with a small fluffy brush. So now moving on to the Boreal. So this is Anastasia Brow Made in Dark Brown. I'm just going in with my Sigma Small Angle Brush E65. Since I got this brush, it's the only brush I'll use for my brows. I'm just that. So my brows are done. So now we're going to move on to the fun part, the eye makeup. First of all I'm going over with Desert Sands all over, just to create that blank canvas. And now I'm going to go with mask and do a transitional shade. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that recently I've made a lot of changes. There's going to be some more to come with my blog and things. But I'm basically rebranding a little bit. Because when I set my Instagram up before, I was kind of using it for a portfolio. I'd just signed up, it was this time last year exactly, I signed up for my makeup artist course and so I set up my Instagram which you will all know as MUA underscore Cara Jane. Yeah I kind of set it up like a journal I guess like to document my journey with like my studies and kind of build a bit of a portfolio um, but then yet again it kind of transitioned to just my YouTube and blog stuff which was very beauty orientated and um, now I want to start going into plus size fashion as well because that is a big passion of mine as well because I kind of lost my style after having my son which I think majority of mums do go through and recently my son will be five in December and I've just started feeling confident enough again to start dressing and being quite bold and out there with my clothes again. So I kind of just wanted to share like my outfits and my sort of style which I think maybe other people might find really interesting and I kind of keep my family life private. I don't tend to post a lot about my family life, like my son and my husband and adventures we go on and things. So I want to start opening up more to you guys because I do see you as like my family and your friends 
you support me so much and I want to be able to connect with you guys and also support you guys on your journeys and things so I just thought it'd be really cool if I opened up a bit more um, and shared that side of my life not just the glam Kyra who puts on makeup and does some little videos I want you to like kind of see my life and what I do because I was very young when I had my son, I was 19, and I got married when I was 20, my husband's in the army, so I don't live near any family, I moved away from home, like, quite a distance for being such a young age, so I just thought it would be quite interesting, maybe for some people who can relate, if you're a military wife or a young mum, um, kind of relate and we connect a bit more. So yeah, I've made a few changes. Hopefully you guys will still enjoy the content. That is my whole aim. But I'm hoping you enjoy it more because you'll feel like you're getting to know me. So now I've blended that mascara. Now I'm going to go in with some blazing and kind of just take it above the and just really warmed up that eye. Yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the new content. I did try to film an autumn lookbook. My husband's away at the moment and with a four year old on a busy path with a tripod trying to film myself posing whilst trying to contain my son. It probably was absolutely hilarious to watch. We only did one take and I gave up. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to film that in two weeks time when my husband's back. I might do it for like autumn and winter then because it'll be towards the end of November so it'll be more winter time. So now I'm going in with my Sigma Pencil E30 brush. I'm using saffron which is a really deep red in the palette. I'm just going to kind of go along crease and we'll be cutting this so it doesn't matter if it's a bit messy and I'm just blend that. I'm getting wrist steak from blending so <gasps> Oh my god, blending really is a cardio. So I'm going to go in and cut that crease. So I'm just using a really small sleek makeup brush and this Merlon HD foundation. And then just use some translucent powder and set it. So hard to do a cut on like a hoodie. I don't tend to do cut creases very often just because they are so much fat. <laughs> but I like it when I do do them. Now I'm just going to go and do the other eye and then I'll come back. So now that I've cut the crease on both sides, I'm looking for the world. I'm going to go in now with Celestral using my MAC 239 and I've wetted the end with just my fixing spray. That's like a pink tone to it. Makes it just gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. You can really see the pinks in it which looks so pretty with the orange and the red. And to finish off the edges, I'm going to do like a smoked out look. So I'm going to use Oud, which is this gorgeous burnt burgundy. I'm just packing that on fast. And then blend it out. So gorgeous. 
I love this palette. Obviously, when I bought it, I loved the palette. I just collect palettes, that's my thing. Like, I can't resist a good palette. I didn't think I would use this palette as much as I already have, however. The colours are just all so pretty and they just go with like anything. So now that I've blended the ear all in with it, I'm so happy with this look. It's just so gorgeous. So now I'm going to go in with my Vegas Mate Grand Glamour Lashes. I'm going to pop these on. So now I've popped my falsers on. This one may look a bit odd. I don't know if you can see, it actually broke in half. Like some of the lashes came away from the band and then at the end there was still lashes either side. So I kind of had to like make job fix it. So <laughs> it might look a bit weird, like here, yeah. but it's all good. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in and contour the face. So I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. I'm using this shade here. I'm just going in with my Spectrum Bombshell A05 brush. I don't want to be too heavy contour. Just by the light I'm just going to take this skinny toothbrush one, dip in the same contour colour, and then just go down my nose. Now my lashes have dried, I'm going to go back in with my Huda palette and go under the eye with the same colour. So I'm going to be using my MAC 239, I'm going to go in with Must First. Then with the same brush I'm going to go in with Saffron and using this more on the outer corner. I'm going to get my blending brush and I'm just going to blend it out. Ooh, on the edge and just do that right on the edge to match up the edges. Just packing that on the very corner so it all goes together. Now I'm going to pop on some Ramel Scandalize Mascara just to blend the both now I'm going in with my Milani bronzer in 04 glow just to warm this face up. Now I'm going to go in with my favourite highlight. I really need to get a new one. This is coming up to a year old now. I need a new one so bad. So this is the MAC Nutcracker from last year's Christmas collection. I've seen this year's Christmas collection and oh my god, I need it. <laughs> Every year the packaging just gets even more beautiful. This is awesome, this one, I love it. Whoa, check out that glow. <gasps> I don't think I've ever glowed so much. Glazing glow. Like a glazed donut. Okay, now for lips, I'm gonna go in with my Mac Saw lip pencil. Yes. Oh, actually, it's quite dry. Oh, this is the wrong color. So I picked up the wrong color. This is the right color. So this is shade 12 brunette. You can kind of see why I picked up the wrong colour. This colour is the colour that I was after. This is like brown, a burnt red. I'm gonna match my top. That's better. So this is a mini of Showgirl by Huda Beauty. I think it will look really pretty over the top of this brown. Metallic lips are so on trend right now. Every brand is bringing metallic lip products out this season. 
first of all, I would have a go. This combo. He's giving me light. So I'm going to go in and finish this look with my Makeup Revolution Illuminating Fixing Spray. I really love this fixing spray. I find it makes my highlight pop so much more. So right now this look is giving me life. It is so autumnal. It's a joke. And the highlight. I legit feel like a glazed donut. So that is today's look. I hope you enjoyed watching. It was very chatty compared to my normal ones. Sometimes I just like to sit down and have a good old chat with you guys and let you know about any updates and products that I'm loving. So I like to do chatty ones now and then. And I have to say, together we created this look and I am loving it. I am feeling it right now. Thank you for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.